Point-to-point -point is the term given to the transmission of video content from an encoder in one location to a decoder in another location, over LAN or WAN. Point-to-point -point workflows allow the use of publicly available internet connections, such as local and cellular internet services, instead of expensive satellite equipment and service. It's easy to get started with point-to-point -point streaming using Core and Teradek encoders and decoders. Together, these products provide a powerful and flexible solution with control over regional server deployment, ultra-low latency video delivery, network bonding, and SRT delivery. An example use case is a pro live production company live streaming a live event with five cameras on the field while production is done remotely in the studio. All of the cameras would be using Teradek Bond backpacks to encode and transmit the video signal to core through a bonded cellular network connection. Each video feed is sent through a Hyperion server in core, where the demuxing of the bonded feed occurs, and then onto a Teradek decoder, where the video signal is output to baseband HDMI or SDI. The studio can then input the video feeds to a switcher to create the program, add graphics, etc. Let's see how easy setting up your first point-to-point -point encoder and decoder connection is. If you haven't set up a Core account yet, you can do so at corecloud.tv and follow our Getting Started tutorial. We recommend using the Plus and Pro plans when using point-to-point -point workflows. First, we need to launch a Hyperion server, which is the backbone of this workflow, ingesting inbound streams and sending them to their destinations. In Core, click on the Servers tab and click Launch Server. Choose Hyperion, which allows you to ingest up to five inbound streams. Follow our documentation to help choose the different setup and billing options for the Hyperion server. The most important step in the point-to-point -point workflow is to choose the deployment region that is closest to your encoders to keep latency down. Then click Launch Server. Back to your encoder's web UI, connect your camera to your Teradek encoder and follow the manual for your specific encoder to connect it to core. Encoders you can use for this workflow include the Prism Encoder Series, Cube Encoder, Bond, Wave, Serve 4K, t rex and Slice. For the Teradek Cube, Bond, t rex and Slice, you'll need to select the server from the device's screen or web UI interface. For the Teradek Prism Series, Serve 4K, and WAVE, you can connect your encoder to your Hyperion server from the Core dashboard or within the Encoder Details page by clicking the Connect Video to Core button. Then, connect the video output on your Teradek decoder to your switcher and follow the manual for your specific decoder to connect it to Core. Decoders you can use for this workflow include the Prism Flex, Prism Rack, Slice, t rex and Cube decoders. Once the encoder is connected to your designated Hyperion server, click on the Sources tab and then on your encoder's name. In the Decoder section on the right, click Link. Then click to select your decoder and click Link. And as simple as that, your decoder will be receiving a low latency video signal from the encoder and be outputting via either HDMI or SDI to your switcher. Follow the same connection steps for each encoder and decoder pair for up to five pairs on the single Hyperion server. Please note that if you plan to do a lot of streaming, it may be more cost-effective to get a self-hosted Hyperion server. Please contact our sales department for more information.